What is up, people? Today, we are going to be reassembling the winch mount, sticking it on the trailer, and working out where the electronics are going to go so it reaches the van, the PowerPoint. Right, let's get this thing together, shall we? Right then, time to reassemble. We've got some good coats of black on there for some rust prevention. So what do we do now? We know the winch has got to go on. We know this has got to go on. And we've got some nuts and bolts and bits and bobs. Yeah. And we've got my two aluminium plates for there. But we need to work out where I want to put my electrical box, don't we? I'm going to open it up anyway, because it's a little bit... Maybe you'll see. It's got a bulge here. So I want to have a look at what's in that bulge there. So, where do we put this? The winch is going to be... There, see? Yeah? Tell me off about there anyway. I'm going to buy a winch cover for this to keep it clean. But this might not fit under the winch cover if we have it here. But if we stick it there, it, it's, well, to be honest, it doesn't even catch it there. So it'd have to be on the front there, wouldn't it? So we can either put it there. It could go there, but the lines are a bit short, long. Or it goes this side, because this side is where the plug is on the back of the van. But then this is going to be out in the elements once I get the cover. So I'm going to buy the cover for the 4500, which is this. Which I guess it just covers this, not all of that. But I won't know until I've got the cover. This can stay out in the open, to be honest. It's not, it doesn't have to be under a cover, does it? The winch, for frick's sake. Which is me being me. If you put it there, how are we going to fix it to that aluminium? I hear you ask. Because it's supposed to cable tie. Well, not cable tie. It's got these funny looking odd shaped brackets. Just make sure our lines will reach. Blue. And yellow. I just asked the wife what she's surprising me with for breakfast, so we shall see what comes up. That's plenty long enough, isn't it? So that can come off there. To be honest, I might cut these down. I could add... Hmm. I wonder if I could put P-clips in with these rivets to hold this down. Let's put the cables in. See, I'm starting to run away myself. Tell you what, let's bolt the winch in place so we know what we're working with. All right, let's see what fixings we've got knocking around. We want our own keys, obviously, because we can. See if this will reach all the way up. Yeah, it should do. Just making sure that it's not gonna bottom out in the alley. Once that's got a washer on it and it's through that plate, we're good. And I've got two shorter ones for this dude. Going here. And I'm going to put nylon on everything, not normal nuts. Compression washer on there. Right, now we've got to get this on here. Yeah. 
this is lovely. Kind of don't scratch the paintwork. Really, really, not the longest, are they? But I need this control panel sitting here, going that way. So this panel can go on. I just want to put a P clip on there. Right, so. Let's just do that, please. Yeah. Just pop this open and see what's a bulging inside. I do realise this video is getting a bit long, just for me making a winch man. You probably skipped through where and did it by now anyway. Oh, the wires have gone down the side, so that I'm guessing is the aerial for the transponder. I'll tell you what, look at that thing in there. Serious nice piece of kit that is, isn't it? Tell you what, that's a really nice setup in there, that is. Quite happy with that. So the wire had slid down the side, which is what had bolted the case. To be honest, it probably could do with a slightly bigger case. If I'm honest. but we'll make it work. So the aerial I'm going to stick down this one end because this end is going to be the end that's here. We root table. That one can stay. This is more gap down this side. The reason why I'm trying to turn it over. Oh! I'm 
I might put a bit of Velcro on there to stop that. I always keep some of this dual lock, M3 dual lock Velcro. It basically, there's no fluffy side. All there is is just a one, just plastic stuff. Stop it. Yeah? And that's what locks to itself. And it does not come apart. So, dual lock, M3. It's a bit of a bugger to get it apart once you put it together, but. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit on there and stick it in there. Might as well. I know then it's not gonna be banging around and stuff, is it? Hopefully it'll fit now. Put the No bulgy. I have no idea. See this and this. I can drill through. I can't tell if it's wider than that unless I put it sideways. But then. Not. I'm going to put the cables through. Oh, why do I have to be so fussy? Uh. If that's on there, I can't go that way because the box section's in the way. So I can't screw up. Is very tight to potentially not fitting. Yeah, and that's what to say. It needs to go sideways, and really, it needs to go that way. <coughs> so it hasn't got constant rain hitting on these. Thing. Right, so what I've come up with is I'm not going to put this on there. This is going to go somewhere else on the trailer. Right then, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take this and put it on the front of the trailer. Then I can work out where the wiring is going to go. So cause I've got this much length on here, and I've got limited length on the power cable, which has got to go on the van. So that is going to attach to the trailer somewhere, right? So we're going to chuck this on the van, on the trailer, and then we can start working out where this box is going to have to go. This switch... I don't even know whether it's going to be long enough to reach all the way to the back of the trailer. It's just like a, you know, switch. Right, I'll drag this out the front and uh, we'll check it out, shall we?
It's like a dream. I think what I'm going to do here is going to have some boxes for my fuel jugs. So we are going to be making something for here, which will probably mount to the bottom of this. Flat, maybe some sort of aluminium box, drop the fuel jugs in. So we're not carrying them around in the van. It's another plan anyway. Lots of plans. show you where my power port is. See? There. This will go in there. It will do when the ends are touching. So that'll go in there. To be honest, I've got loads of noise. Easy. Easy. Reaches to, to cover. So this will easily reach. Let me set you back. <clears throat> so if I add... Ooh, hello. Right people, we have a winch and what I'm going to back the van up so we can plug it in, see, so I've got power port on the back, wired to three leisure batteries so we've got plenty of juice. Decided to put that on there and just loop the wires around because my new cover come and this fits under the cover so I thought I'd uh, let it run there basically run it there so it's all bolted in everything's together comes in and out really nice turned out really well i'm really quite chuffed with it what i'm going to do with this this is the wired no the solid switch remote i'm going to run that cable all the way to the back so on the 
back door there is also a fixed switch so i've got one of these remotes these you sold this it flashes see see now i just run it so it's sideways so it stops it dangling and scratching the paint Sweet, isn't it? So there, there we go. I think that turned out really well. And there is something now to stand on either side. So you get your little aluminium plate. Right. Well, thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Get out of people.